Hey everybody, I have got a new pour for you today. Let me get you close up. All right. Oh, I can get you. There we go. Alrighty. So, on a comment of one of my paintings, somebody said, yeah, I'd love to see you do a painting with Naples yellow, burnt sienna, and raw umber. And then I got an email saying, you know, I'm serious. Yeah, you know, what's your address? I'll send you the paint. So this lovely woman named Joyce, who she even invited me to check out her Facebook page to make sure she's not a stalker, um, which is so fun. And not, <laughs> Joyce, I know you're not a stalker, but it's like, you know, really what kind of... Um, you know, if you've got a Facebook page, if you have anything, you're just kind of putting yourself out there. Um, you do have to be careful, yes, but, you know, I'm here. You guys know a lot about me. <laughs> so um, so she said, I'll send you these colors. So she ordered them from Michael's, and the other, and it came on a perfect day because it was a really tough day. And I got home from work, and there's this box. And in it were their colors and then more colors. So Joyce... Thank you so much. It was a wonderful, wonderful surprise, and I'm so excited to use these colors. Um, and I also mixed up a vermilion, which kind of looks good with those two, but I'll stick with these three, and I've been trying to, trying to decide what to do. You know, actually, now that I'm sitting here and I'm looking at them, um, I... I was thinking, gosh, maybe I should make the um, the Naples yellow, the the background, the negative space. Um, that might be really cool. Well, now, 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 hmm. Now I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking. <laughs> Trying to think how I could do that. Okay, I think I, maybe, we'll see. All right. So, okay, now I have that in my head. So, oh my gosh, I have it. It's like so close, I can touch the idea. Um, and by the way, this is, uh, while I'm waiting for this idea to jump back in my head, a uh, board from um, Blick. So I didn't prime it. Um, I primed one of them, and then I was going to do one unprimed just to see. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. I'm going to think on this a second and then I'll turn you back on. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> and I have my idea. Sometimes I'll just think while the video is running, but I figured this was like deep fog. <laughs> Can you smell the smoke from my brain? Um, oh, crud. Just threw my glove in my white paint. Um, <clears throat> so, again, <coughs> artist loft paints, and I mix them with flood, floetrol, and water. The white paint I'm using is house paint. And because somebody's been to ask, this is a washing machine pan. And these are bamboo paddles, uh, bamboo shish kebab skewer paddles, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so I put a little bit of the... Um, 
burnt sienna in here so I could put a couple drops of uh, treadmill silicone. And um, so what, okay, so I'm going, I feel like the pressure's on because, you know, choice colors. And I'm really hoping that the um, raw umber was the third color because I knew it was either that or the um, burnt umber. <laughs> so Joyce, I hope it's right. But I plan to do another one in adding vermilion. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> oh, so... I'm going to add a little bit of white and I filled this up way too high. So I'm going to do it over here. So that day that I got the paints, as I said, it was kind of a crappy day. I had, I gotten some news at work, nothing, you know, nothing that I'm fine. Everyone's fine. But then at lunch, I had gone over to my folks' house and I got stuck in the snow at the end of their driveway with like the butt of my car hanging into the street. And uh, so, you know, and I'd already had a tiring day. So I called my coworkers and I said, you know, I might be a little late getting back. Um, actually, you know, I'm going to, um, I'm going to put a touch of the treadmill silicone in here with the, uh, yellow. So then, you know, I was frustrated. And so I gave myself about 60 seconds where I put my head on my steering wheel. And yes, I cried because <laughs> I was so frustrated and stuck in snow. And so I gave myself, you know, my 60 seconds. And then I was going to start knocking on doors for a shovel. Um, and this nice lady came by in her work clothes. Um, and she's like, do you need, you know, do you need help? And so, because I had already gotten out to start pushing and which is really hard to do on your own. I don't know what I was thinking, but, um, so she, she got out and helped and she had a little girl in the car. Um, and I was like, Oh, this really restores, you know, your faith and humanity and stuff. And, and then, so the two of us are working on it and just couldn't quite get it. And then this guy stops, box stops and says, do you need help? And we're like, yeah, so as he's parking his car, we finally get it unstuck. So as we joked with him, all we needed was you to just show up and offer, and then we got it out. But, and then I got home and there were paints and it ended up being an okay day. I love working on these panels as opposed to canvas because like it's just they're just cool they're so smooth wow look at that isn't that pretty yeah she I mean these aren't the colors I generally use but boy look at that richness And I have to admit, I was not even sure what Naples yellow was. And even when she sent it, I'm like, I don't recall really seeing this in the store. So either I'm blind to this color or I just never 
noticed it. So this painting did use, um, I'll tell you why I used, I put silicone in the yellow when I went around it because I wanted the two to kind of, um, uh, what should I call it, like react. So I wanted cells, you know, oftentimes I don't like too many cells, but in this I did. So I added the white to the um, rest of this flip cup, which is what gives me those neat uh, lines. I haven't painted in quite a few days. I've been really busy. I'm wondering if I have too much silicone because I can see it kind of floating on the top. Gosh, I really like these paintings. They do cost more though. softer look right here. But, whoa, that was more than I wanted. I wasn't real happy with the look of that. So. Still, t you know, it's, I just, um, paint reacts differently on a hard surface. So I'm still kind of getting used to that. And there, I, do believe I have too much silicone. Um, I'm going to torch it, but I, oh gosh, I don't like because I you can see when I'm tilting it that it is oily almost. So I am scraping this. Um, if I can find something to just scrape it with. Because that, and I'm not adding silicone to the next one. Because, for one reason, it is now on the board. Um, obviously the, well, not obviously, because I didn't find it. I was going to say the board won't soak up as much as a canvas. But... That's not true. And maybe had I not added the silicone to the yellow. I'm going to keep this flip cup though. There's, let's see, I know there is silicone in this. Very little, because there's hardly anything left. And then I'm going to give it a stir stir. Ah. Take two. Oh, 
just slide so nicely on this. So I told you how our local Jewish paper was doing an article on me. And uh, it came out today. I didn't bring it downstairs. I'll have to show you. Um, if you follow my, if you are on my Facebook page, I linked to the um, article. So I'm very excited about that. I just feel really, it's just so cool. And then I've gotten asked to participate in some other community art kind of outreach things. And um, it's just, it's pretty cool how things are taking off. Um, it's good for me to have something. I mean, it's good for all of us to have something. But it's pretty cool. And as I was telling my mom, I'm like, in a year, you know, I'm not going to have any, you know, I mean, I'll still have kids, but there won't be anybody at home. So I'm like, if I start, you know, get involved more, you know, with locally with this stuff, I'm like, yay. Then I don't have to be with my husband. No, I'm just kidding. I'm so kidding. I love my husband. He's amazing. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm trying to, I am really liking this, by the way, and I'm kind of letting it sit while I do the sides, because, you know, as it sits, it changes, and I'm, I think I'm going to have to just start tilting. I know there's a lot of paint on there, but it's not wanting to, you know, it's, it's because, uh, you know, it, the board won't sag, you know, sometimes the canvas sags in the middle, um, and the paint pools, but you know, that shouldn't happen with the board unless you know, it's warping. And I think I told you guys that with those circles that I've been using, that they do warp. I, I'm pretty sure I was. But I want to keep reiterating that um, so that people aren't freaking out when their lovely paintings start twisting and turning on them. Like the black painting I did. Um, Oh, I haven't been down here for three days, I don't think. So the, so the last time I saw it was three days ago. And it was it was really war. You know, there was I don't want to hang it. About this much of a gap from in the middle. And um now I'm looking at it and it is almost flat. So and they have some resin work to do. I was going to do it the other day, but if I can't, I don't resin unless I can get to it within 12 hours to take the tape off. Any longer than that, it gets too hard and it's really difficult to work with. So if I can't get to it, I won't do it. So tomorrow's Friday, so I will resin tomorrow because then Saturday morning I'll be able This, this whole area, you know, it's hard. The uh, wood is similar in color to this. Oh, I am so happy that that didn't explode in bubbles, bubbles, cells. All right, Joyce, I think I done you well. <gasps> Ooh, look at these pretty, there's like little lacy cells going on my bars. Okay, I'm just touching up. Oh, wow, that 
that wasn't just there, was it? Okay, so some of these were not just there. They are popping up here. Um, I can tell there's a whole bunch of color under here. I need to see. Wow, there is a lot of paint there. I'm going to tip it a little bit. I don't want it. I don't want to have any negative effects from too thick a paint, which could be cracking, um, just different texture. Gosh. Stick my whole thumb in there. <laughs> now I'm just tilting it back to kind of Doing this because you know some of the cells creep me out. <laughs> All right. I think that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. There's a lot of color under there. I'm going to try just a little bit. Now they're all coming up. Um, this is still really thick. Nobody said you can't finger paint. Oh, I like. Oh, I like this effect better. Ooh, that looks better. So that's a good thing. All right, I think I've stuck my finger in it enough. Um, let me show you. It's probably way too fast, but. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Joyce, for your paints. You've made me a happy girl. Catch you all next time. Bye.